it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Today I am so excited because we are touring the island of Nixia. It's by Emily and she released her dream address literally yesterday. This is going up on Wednesday morning and I am recording this Tuesday night. So I am so thrilled to be on this island, you guys. It is described as being an overgrown mountainous town and I mean, just look at the flag. Like, come on. It's gonna be perfect, I can already tell. So with that said, you guys, if you're new to my channel, first and foremost, welcome. I am so happy that you're here. Hopefully this island gives you some inspiration. I have zero doubts that it will do that for me. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into this tour by checking out Miss Emily's map. Ooh, okay, awesome. Let's check out her residence here. We have Poppy, Maple, Punchy, Hazel, Silvana, Ruby, Egbert. I never see Egbert. How cute. Teddy, who's incredible. Shep and Lyman. And you guys, here is the dream address right here on the screen if you want to tour along with me or hop in at a later date. Also, I will link Emily's Instagram, her Twitch account, all of those good social platforms below in the description box. So that way you can go and give her some love and check out one of her streams and follow her on Instagram as well. Okay, I already pointed out the flag, but come on, like it's a mountainous town and that's a literal mountain. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we did, oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. We have some presents that were left out for us at the Welcome Center. So of course I have to put them on. Oh my gosh, how cute. Also, I'm sure I've mentioned this in a previous video, but green mums are my favorite and I have a feeling that they're gonna be all over this island. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it's so like green and, oh, whoa. It really does feel like we're about to hike a mountain. Well, if this isn't just adorable. Ooh, the museum's that way, but I kind of want to go up. Well, we'll have to remember to go back to the museum, okay? The amount of weeds. I'm obsessed, you guys. Also, can we just talk about how many trees are planted? Like they're so, they seem so close to one another and I know they're not, you know, they have to be within the game's limits, but they look so good. Oh my gosh, this mossy rock too. It's just, I mean, that is a perfect item for this island. Oh, hello, little leaf guy. What are you? I forgot what you're called. <gasps> Praying mantis. <laughs> the green bug models are perfect. And we're at Able Sisters. Oh, I love how like cottagey and natural this Able Sisters feels. Oh, I love this. It really like, it's so special. And I love this little tiny library, how it almost works as a mailbox for them. How adorable is that? So, so cute. We do have a ladder as well. I would think on a mountainous island, it would be something that we would need <laughs> just to get into some nooks and crannies. Pun very much intended, by the way. Oh my gosh, the mushrooms. Oh my God, the bamboo shoot lamp right here. I'm blocking it, but that little guy, that's what that is, right? That looks great. Oh, how fun. I just wanna come and just like sit and enjoy the fresh air. <laughs> wow, there is so much detail. All the little bug models, so great. Oh, and a present. So she does have a little challenge. I'm not gonna open the presents here on this video because there is a little challenge that she men mentions, excuse me, on her Instagram account. And I don't wanna give that away, but if you visit this dream address, go check out Emily's Instagram, read the post with her map, that's by Caribou Crossing. And um, yeah, you'll know what I'm talking about then. <laughs> but I'm not gonna open these gifts on camera for a very, <clears throat> excuse me, very specific reason. Oh my gosh, how cute are these little houses? Yeah, I knew the green mom's like, oh, I just wanna do this. This is all I wanna do all day. I just wanna like lay down. You know what? Yeah. Look at how cute, oh my gosh. 
Yep, I knew I would love this island just by the pictures that are on Emily's Instagram, but seeing it in person, well, you know, virtual person, <laughs> it truly is just so beautiful. Ooh, what's up this way? Oh my gosh, can I just say, I love when people use jail bars. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 this view too. Hello? Uh, as I was saying, I love when people use jail bars as like doorways. Oh my gosh, how cute. That something, okay, I just can we just appreciate this, this again? I'm taking some serious inspiration from that. That is absolutely beautiful, Emily. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's up here. Oh, what a nice little lookout. Oh, this is like a perfect area to do some stargazing. Oh, look, and you do have a little, <laughs> a little place to look out right, right there. <gasps> Another present. Hello. <laughs> so cute. I love the idea of just having a cliffside seating area like this. Oh, look, look at Teddy down there. <gasps> Wait, this must be her house. Oh my gosh, I haven't toured an island in like a week, but that feels like a very long time. If you can't tell, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love how hidden her mailbox is right there. Oh, and this house, yes, ma'am. I love that green stucco. Oh my gosh, she's just having like all the villagers at her house. They're like, come on, Katie, check it out. It's a party. <gasps> Cute. Oh, I love. That organ looks so nice in here as well. I would also like to say, I, and it's just reminding me because they have a Christmas tree right here, but I just took my Christmas tree down yesterday. So I was a little late to the game, but this room is so nice. I love the little book on the desk and the Scorpio lamp. It really feels just like a nice, well-decorated living room. Let's go to the left first and see what's over here. Oh, how cool is this? What a creative, absolutely creative room, like a meditation room. It could also be like a yoga studio. Wow, that is brilliant. It is so simple and yet I knew exactly what it was. This is great. You have the Zen cushion, little futon. It's like so Zen. I love it. And now to the, I'm gonna do the back room, can I? <laughs> do a little hop, skip, and a jump back here. Oh my gosh, I love the villager pictures on that back wall too. She had Poppy and Anka. Oh, an office! I was not expecting an office. I know I say it every single time I see this wallpaper, but I love it. I think it's great, and you know what? I don't think I even use it anywhere, but it's definitely like easily one of my top three favorite wallpapers. I need to use it in my house. How cute. Yeah, I was not expecting an office, but this looks so, so good. And I like how she has two chairs on one side of the table and then just the more corporate rolling chair. I was trying to think of what you'd call it. I almost said gaming chair, and I was like, no, nah, it's just like an office chair. <laughs> but the one with wheels is on the other side. And to the right. Oh, kitchen! I really like the white ironwood furniture. That looks so nice and clean. 
Oh, it's so cute. Oh, how smart. She has the Ironwood DIY bench in the corner too, right next to the little dustpan. Like, hey, once you're done crafting stuff, like sweep up the sawdust, throw it away. I think that's really creative. What a great use of both the DIY bench and just the use of space in general. Okay, now let's check out the upstairs. Oh, oh my goodness. So this wallpaper is from the Bug Off and it's so good. I'm pretty sure it's from the Bug Off. Like I'm 90% sure. Man, I miss those summer activities. Oh my gosh, and the kitty cats up there. How cute, punchy, lolly. Oh my gosh, they're all so adorable. Might I say, she does a great job of mixing different types of furniture too, like the Celeste items and the antique items. They all like, they're all from different sets, but they look so nice together. I love this room. So sweet. And the basement. What's in here? What? Oh, how fun is this? It is like a KK Shrine Ode Band Jam Out Session kind of room. This is such a cool basement and exactly like what a basement should be. Oh, how fun. And then she has a lot of artwork on the back as well. Oh, I love it. So I grew up in Nashville. So a lot of my friends either had family members that were in the music industry or they themselves were practicing music and they had basements almost identical to this with the exception of the fake Mona Lisa hanging on the wall. <laughs> but truly like the basement would have exercise equipment. It would have, you know, your instruments that you would practice in. It would have some toys, some like miscellaneous wall hangings. This is exactly like that it's so good oh and look at all the posters up there too let me pan oop wrong way i don't know if i can pan all the way up but you can see the villager posters just a little bit on that back wall what a fun house i thoroughly enjoyed that so now let's make our way i think Let's make our way back down and let's go back and try to loop around to the museum eventually. And that way we can see this other side. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this entrance. I cannot get over it. So we'll go this way instead. How cute, how cute is just this teeny tiny little dock. That is adorable. got just like a little mini farm here oh how sweet I am so happy that the New Year's items were so great like the little food items that they give you so cute well, let's check out her beach I love this green look at that green path back there what a nice way to kind of slowly transition the grass on the island to the sand that's on the beach Oh my gosh, just like the cutest mini farm. I love this little area for a villager house, cute. And then let's go back this way. I want to stay on the green. <laughs> oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. No, <laughs> no, I think I had it right. I think I had it right going this way. I take it back, you guys, I take it back. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think you guys that we are close to a really cool part of our island. She has this really cool factory lookout and I have a feeling we are nearing it. Oh my gosh, hi, hi cutie. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I'm here too. Your island is amazing. You lead the way. I'm gonna follow you. No? Okay, <laughs> I'll go this way. <laughs> yeah, this green path on the sand, I really like that. It really does give it that overgrown feeling. Oh, this is Hazel's house, isn't it? Okay, so let me just double check. Hazel's house. So on the custom map that Caribou Crossing made for Emily and of the island of Nixia, she marks that this is Hazel's workshop, which I mean, perfect. Absolutely perfect. How cute. I love it. I love when certain villagers just get those dedicated areas. I'm gonna guess that Hazel is her favorite, but that's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so well done. Okay, and let's go. <gasps> Danger. Ooh, I wonder if this is the factory lookout. It must be, right? Oh, you come down first. I'll let you go. Nope, all right, we're, <laughs> we'll go up too. Ooh, yep, that's what it is. <gasps> Ooh, ladder. It's telling me to use a ladder. That is always so helpful. Wait, how do I get up? Right here? Right here? Right here? Oh, right there. <laughs> <gasps> Holy smokes. Whoa. This is cool. Whoa. I don't know what else to say, y'all. Like, that is awesome. I'm speechless. Like, what a cool concept for a lookout. It really, like seeing something this industrial, I wasn't totally expecting on this side of the island since it's like so natural and overgrown. That's amazing. Oh, oh, I thought I went down. Oh no, oh no. There we go. <laughs> I hate getting stuck behind trees. I always do it whenever I'm doing some terraforming and landscaping on my own island. And it's just like, oh, come on. How creative. Oh, you again. You just want to get in my way, don't you, little chicken? Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't know why I went this way anyway. He's like, you idiot. You gotta go this way. <gasps> oh, the museum. Perfect. This is exactly where I wanted to come. Wait. No way. No. <gasps> I'm sorry. We're just gonna have to take a moment. Wow. Shep's like, yeah, that's an insane museum. This is so good. Truly everything that Blathers deserves and more. That is brilliant. The use of the organs and the lighthouses. Oh, people are so creative. I just, I just don't have the brain cells to do it. I don't. I'm so glad that I am fortunate enough to tour these islands for my channel. Um, Cause the Lord knows I can't. I am working on my island, rest assured. But like that creativity y'all is just something else truly. We're back to the hike. Cute. Okay, so I know we haven't seen the left side of her map, so let's do that. We'll go back up this way, which I still, I love this area so much. Like, what a perfect way to have started off this tour. And then we'll go back down. Also, even just this view, like, <laughs> the views on this whole island. Oh my god, like the windmills in the back left. I didn't even notice those earlier. I mean, that's just so beautiful. And the time of day that she set her dream address is just so nice as well. Cute. So let's go this way this time. Am I going the right way? <gasps> Very cute. So this is like the town part. 
She has these little shops. Oh my gosh, how cute. <laughs> the little artwork that's on the drain hole covers. That's a mountain, I mean, too perfect. And of course her nook's cranny. This is such a cute nook's cranny, how it's right in front of these double bridges and the water. Oh my gosh, I can't get over the trees. It must have taken so long to accumulate that many trees. And again, the whole like shipping station right here, adorable. So cute. So, so, so cute. And I think, I don't know how, how do I get up to where I'm wanting to go? Cause I know, or I'm pretty sure campsite is back a ways away. Oh, you know what? I know how to get there. Hold on. We're making a detour very, very quickly. Back to the way we went earlier. Oh, look how sweet this little apiary over here. <laughs> I didn't see that earlier. Okay, so I'm pretty confident that if we, I'm gonna run. Ugh, wait, just one more time. Stunning, I don't know what else to say, just stunning. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure if we go this way, which we didn't do earlier, this will take us maybe. Look at those sunken waterfalls. Those are not easy to do, by the way. I just tried to make some and after a lot of trial and error succeeded, but they are not easy to make. <laughs> wow, this campsite. Yeah, I, ha I knew, I knew I would love it. It just fits the theme of her island so well. And how cute is this? Look at the little book on the Zen cushion. So peaceful. I just am obsessed. Like the green mums, all the trees, we're set in a warm climate. I, I can't get over it, truly. Oh, hello, this is perfect. Private beach, no soliciting. Oh no, this is, this is Sheps, right? Yeah, he gets his own private beach. He's like, you guys stay away from me. I'm gonna read my books right here and have my sushi. And that is what I'm gonna do. Oh, and a nice little stargazing area back here as well. Great spot. Again, I love, so I said this in a previous uh, video where the island was natural, but I love on natural islands when there's no rock garden, you know, it doesn't make sense. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? <gasps> Whoa. So on her map, she calls this Beach of the Living Stones. Whoa. I, wow, what? This is so creative and something that I truly have never seen before. Can I get, I don't know if I can even get out of the frame just to show, yeah, there we go, I'll hide behind the tree. That is crazy, Beach of the Living Stones. How awesome is this? That is wild, truly. Like I was not expecting something so like unique. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of unique features on her island, but this is, this is so cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see if I can get up this way. Can I? Can I? Probably not. <laughs> After a few tries, I'm like, nah. That's okay though, we'll go this way. That's, I can't get over that beach. I was just not, I was not expecting that at all. Oop, oop. I'm just gonna go back the other way. It makes it easier. <laughs> I know me and I know I will 
unintentionally get stuck. This is so like, what? These items look incredible. It feels like not haunted, but I don't know. Haunted is not the right word. What's the word that I'm looking for? Like, oh gosh, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> A good trick, you guys, if you ever get lost, if you just check your inventory like that, it can kind of help you pinpoint where you are and where you need to go. Love this campsite. I'm so happy that we came back up this way. And these sunken waterfalls. Yeah, so many sights to see. Now let's go and check out the bottom the bottom left, not right. The right side was the amazing museum. Oh my gosh, I can't get over that entrance. I'm sorry, I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. And let's go, I guess back through the town. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the right call. So we'll go back through this incredible town. Oh, Katie, put your letter away. <laughs> We're on pavement now. We saw that amazing Nook's Cranny. Look at this little neighborhood, how cute. Oh my gosh, so sweet. Yes, okay, so this is the Welcome Center because as you know, with dream addresses, you wake up right here and then her resident services is just, look at that, just fully in the, I guess you would consider it a canyon because the mountains are surrounding it, so I guess it's in a canyon. And whenever you wake up, there's this wonderful welcome center, and this is where you pick up your ladder. It's also where you pick up two gifts, that, the ones that I'm wearing, the mum crown and the little leaf. Which also, those gifts don't count towards the, the game. Ooh, let's get a snack. Um, the little game I was talking about. <laughs> So those should not be spoilers, I don't think. Look at this little sweet little entrance. I love how she intentionally put, you know, some villagers in this neighborhood and then some like really in the mountains and then villagers like Shep who have their own little private beach. KK record store. Yes, count me in, count me in. Private beach, no soliciting again, love that. Oh, and this is the wedding ceremony area. Oh, how cute. Well, I guess this would be reception. But a nice little outdoor beach wedding. Hazel's like, I'm here, I'm ready to get married. Oh, and oh, what a great use of this rock. Dun, 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 dun. How adorable. That is amazing. So well done. Oh, cute. And just like a mini campsite right here on the beach. <gasps> hiking. And this is the Mount Nixia hiking trail, I believe. <gasps> and there's the third present, right? Didn't we have get two? Yeah, one, two, and I think that's the third. So fun. Oh, I have to pick it up. Again, I'm not gonna spoil it, but how fun. Oh my gosh, this hiking trail. <gasps> how cool. Do you guys see how like, she put this narrow detailing of path. Like this is meant like, hey, this is where you hop up. And then it really does feel like a hiking trail. And you just follow that little sliver of path. This is brilliant. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And then it would take you, I guess, down into resident services. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all, I don't even know what else to say other than huge kudos to Emily for making easily one of my favorite islands that I have ever toured. I mean, I am just 
floored by the creativity. It, this is incredible. Please, again, go follow her Instagram. Check her out on Twitch whenever she streams. She does Animal Crossing streams on there. She's also just a sweetheart and, um, yeah, insanely creative and talented. I could go on and on and on. You guys, with that said, that is it for today's island tour. If you want me to tour your island, make sure to fill out the link in the description box. It'll send you to a little form where you can give me some details. I don't usually get to them too, too quickly, so just be patient with me if I don't respond. But yeah, you guys, hopefully you're having a wonderful morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.